Before finishes are applied, the contractor installer needs to take into consideration some additional fastening requirements needed for handrails, curtain rods, heavy wall hangings such as flat screen TVs, large mirrors, heavy artwork, and upper kitchen cabinets. Start by ripping 4 inch or 102 millimeter wide or wider if needed pieces of 5 8 or 16 millimeter thick plywood for the regions where fastening will be required. Then cut the plywood segments to the required length and screw them with number 8 minimum flathead core spread screws into the webs. This method can be used for a variety of installations. Mounting of flat screen TVs can be completed in a variety of ways. Nudura recommends raking the foam to allow for a piece of 5 8 or 16 mm thick plywood to be inset into the form and fastened to the fastening strips. This will allow for the drywall to be placed directly over and concealing the plywood. Gypsum board installers can install their material directly onto Nudura walls using minimum 1 and 5 8 or 41 mm length gypsum board screws. Baseboards can be fastened directly to the gypsum board using a combination of adhesive and nails. Should the contractor decide to attach a band of plywood the same thickness as the gypsum board, this step needs to be completed before the gypsum board is installed. Building with Nudura allows you the same finish options as traditional construction. Nudura structures can be covered with a multitude of different finishes. Exterior finishes must be installed over the EPS in accordance with the building code and local requirements and ensure manufacturer's suggested guidelines are followed. It is also important to note that all exterior finishes requiring mechanical attachment will require the use of screws in place of any nails that are specified in the manufacturer's installation instructions. Consult with your local distributor for more information. When installing brick or stone veneer, there are a couple of steps that Nudura recommends. In this example, the mason is installing stone veneer and is about to apply a through wall flashing in accordance with standard building practice and code requirements. Start by chalking a line 6 to 9 inches or 152 to 229 millimeters above the brick ledge. Using a circular saw, cut a 45 degree kerf cut upward one and a half inches or 38 millimeters deep into the Nadura form. We will show you why this step is necessary in a moment. Next, after removing the paper backing, apply Nadura waterproof just under the curve cut and apply the adhesive surface of the membrane downward over the face of the wall, then running horizontally outward over the brick ledge, leaving an overhang. Ensure all local building codes are followed for all through wall flashing installations. Once the membrane has been installed, place the metal flashing into the kerf cut to shed water over the top edge of the membrane. For more information on exterior finish installation, please refer to the Nudura installation manual or contact your local distributor. For more information on Nudura insulated concrete forms or any of our accessory products, please visit us at Nudura.com or within North America, call 1-866-468-6299. For clients outside North America, contact us at 705-726-9499.